Hey YouTube, it's Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And we are fired up here today at our dealership. Um, I can't tell you, this year has been, I can tell you, this year has been, I've never seen anything like it. And we are just so thrilled because if you can see on our lot, there is not a lot of RVs sitting here. And I can tell you that our, our, our purchasing team, our sales managers, um, the people within our company have been working extremely hard to be able to bring you RVs uh, to our dealerships um, and really going beyond what we would normally do. And I can tell you folks, we have nailed it. I am absolutely thrilled to be able to shoot a video on an all new product uh, for here at Woody's RV World. Um, this product is gonna be carried in Calgary our Calgary dealership, Red Deer dealership, Leduc here where we're located, and our Edmonton uh, dealership as well. And so right up the corridor through Alberta, we're gonna have the Heartland Mallard. Uh, the Mallard folks, for uh, all you newbies out there and new RVers, is an iconic name in the RV industry. It's been around for decades. Used to be under the Fleetwood umbrella decades ago, and now with Heartland. And I can tell you folks that the Mallard, what you're seeing here today is redefined. Uh, there is so much to talk about on this product, folks. The Mallard is a, is a, is a private label product for a very large uh, RV our dealership conglomerate uh, in North America. And we're absolutely thrilled to be able to represent this in Alberta uh, because this product, again, represents immense value um, at a fantastic freight price point. We stepped up. Um, as a company, we purchased, put our name on 90 mallards uh, to be delivered between now and the end of summer. And so we picked their top five best selling floor plans. I'm going to shoot a video on every single one of them for you. Uh, really nice thing is they're all built the same. They're all equipped the same. Uh, there's really no options on this trailer because it's all built in as standard equipment. But I can tell you right off the get go, um, the mallard. Uh, with their graphics package, their front cap, the interior styling, they have absolutely nailed it uh, in terms of bringing a trailer to the to the marketplace that's a very ruggedly built trailer. And there's a lot of things on this trailer um, that you're not necessarily gonna find on a lot of other laminated lightweight products in the industry. And when I say ruggedly built, I'm gonna explain some of that to you. Um, but right up front here, folks, this is actually uh, the M260. So this is a full rear bathroom. This is a non-bunk model. It's got the super slide in it, king size bed, which we'll show you shortly. Um, but standing on the outside of it right up front here, you'll notice, folks, the graphics package says Mallard. This trailer's actually got glow-in-the-dark graphics. So that Mallard that you see right across the top, at night you're sitting at the campground, you're walking through, it actually glows in the dark, which is super cool. Um, they've also got 13 feet of integrated LED lighting right up here on your front cap. I don't know if you can see it. I'll get close for you. So right there, really giving the Mallard a super cool, modern, edgy design. Uh, from a structured perspective on the front of this trailer, folks, um, they do put on a very aggressive front cap. Uh, they've really invested Heartland into building a structurally sound front cap. And why I say that is if you look at, there's lots of hard, you know, there's lots of edges and grooves built right into this front cap. And why that's important is so that when that front cap goes on the front of the trailer, it goes on square. Very important. A lot of manufacturers, they'll hold back, save some costs, get a basic fiberglass mold that they use throughout their lineup on various trailers, um, cheaper mold so that when it goes on, sometimes that, that, that front cap doesn't go on square. And over time, what can happen as your trailer's flexing and stressing going down the highway, your sealant will give way, the silicone that they use to seal in all the corner moldings and your transition molding where your front cap meets the roof will start to give way. And that's where moisture can really uh, real pen really penetrate the inside of the trailer. With Heartland, they're putting that, that structure cap on the front of the trailer, which is really important. So it's gonna greatly reduce the chances of those things happening. Um, the other thing that they've done with their front cap, 
um, is it's a fully painted front cap. It's not a gel coat cap. So, you know, you're going to ensure that the money you're going to spend on this trailer, five, six, seven, eight years down the road, you're not necessarily going to be getting that clouding and discoloration coming down the front cap that we've seen on a lot of the gel coat uh, front caps uh, in the industry. So again, uh, Heartland doing a fantastic job with the styling of this trailer, the structural rigidity, very, very important right up front, to, of, of course, true to form for most of these lightweights in the industry, power front, jack dual 20 pound propane tanks you do get a spot for your batteries up front whether you want to run dual sixes 12s that sort of thing they do give you a battery disconnect switch right up front here as well so if you're between camping trips and you know your batteries are fully charged you can just turn that dial and that'll prolong the life of the the power in your batteries and you do get the fury and solar charge port there as well so if you want to add a, a suitcase style solar panel you can definitely do that uh, one of the cool things on this particular product that you don't see with a lot of the, the price point laminated hardwall trailers in the industry, you've got electric stabilizer jacks on this. That's a real nice update. You just push the button. Anybody can use it. You don't need a drill. You don't need a crank handle, any of those things. You just push a button and those legs go down front and back to really help stabilize the inside of the trailer, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, we're going to jump up here. Of course, this fully pass-through storage. I'm going to talk about the storage on the other side because the storage door on the other side is, is much bigger and it's going to give you an impressive side storage compartment, but you'll see beautiful, beautifully well-finished storage compartment. Um, your cargo carrying capacity on this trailer, you've got dual 3500 HD axles on this, but your cargo carrying capacity is 1,554 pounds, so very respectable uh, for this particular trailer. Uh, your GVWR gross vehicle weight rating, the maximum this trailer can weigh is 7,500 pounds. So very, very respectable um, cargo carrying capacity. Again, on this product, folks, you've got a fully enclosed heated underbelly. One of the things I learned today from our factory rep, Cody Sears, super good guy. Uh, is they run a dual duct system down into their holding tank cavity. So with this trailer, your floor, there's no heat ducts in it, uh, which we just really believe in is a much superior floor to have, than having heat ducts in the floor. Um, but they run a dual duct system down into that holding tank cavity off your furnace, forcing heat down into that enclosed area. So really, really good uh, weather protection, those sorts of things. If you're doing some colder climate camping, just coming down this side of the trailer here. Full deep slide, very linear graphic. I just absolutely love the look of the Mallard. Right here at the back of the trailer, folks, you've got obviously the, the LED uh, rear tail lights, outside shower, which is nice with hot and cold tap. It's not just a spray port, so you can literally just pull your hose out. I'll do that for you. Plug this in here. I know we spend a lot of time at the beach. Uh, my little guy gets covered in sand. This would be a perfect spot. You know, you can get the warm water flowing and he can, you know, rinse off his feet and his legs and almost have a full shower right outside the trailer versus bringing all that sand inside. Of course, it's pre-prepped for a rear vision camera. If you want to add that on as well, we can do that right in our parts department. Very, very easy for you. Of course, the spare tire. Uh, coming around as we round the back side of the trailer to the entry side, you got a very large power awning on this trailer. It's fully adjustable, which is nice. So again, if you are you know out camping and it's starting to rain a little bit, you can drop the one side or either side of your, your awning to divert the water that lands on your fabric off whatever side you want, uh, which is really, really nice. Uh, the other thing a lot of people make mention of is the awning isn't directly like right beside your entrance door here as well. Uh, which is nice. You got a little bit of separation there, which why that's nice is if you do get that driving rain, um, your stairs are more protected. You know, if the awning is right beside that entry door, what can happen is that rain and your steps still get all wet and right in front of your door and that sort of thing. So a little bit better protection and it is a very large uh, fully electric power awning as well, uh, which is which is nice. A couple things when it comes to towability, your running gear on this. Um, with uh, Heartland, they are using the Dexter towing system, with, which is North American made. You get that five-year warranty on your axles, never adjust brakes, easy lube hubs. You can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your own driveway, saving yourself hundreds of dollars. But one thing they've done on the Mallard, and I'll tell you, um, I've talked to, we, we've landed three of them so far in, in the three different floor plans. 
um, of the five that we've got coming. And I asked the driver, how do you like the towability of it? And they absolutely, every single one of them said they love the towability, um, but very, very stable. Um, you know, we can get a lot of wind up here on the highway. We live on the prairies. You get a lot of wind, that sort of thing. So, you know, what I'm hearing is that the separation in the axles, what that does is if you get a heavy crosswind, especially if you're pulling with a lighter duty vehicle, uh, like a half ton or something like that, it's going to sit on the road a little bit better. It's not going to buck and wind like you would get um, with the axles that are a little closer together. That's the theory on it. But uh, again, backed by, um, um, support from the drivers that say they're just absolutely love to, loving to, uh, to tow the product. So um, coming down this side of the trailer, I am super impressed with their storage. Um, I'm an RVer as well, and I got to tell you, for all you uh, first time campers out there, um, RV camping gear, like your chairs, your patio mats, your barbecues, all of those things is like furniture nowadays. It is oversized. And I got to tell you, you don't want a small storage compartment, okay? Um, this particular trailer is gigantic. I can't remember the last time I've seen a storage compartment this big in the RV industry. You got a full 67.5 cubic feet of pass-through storage. Um, it's the largest storage compartment that I've got in a travel trailer right now at the lot. And they do that on several things. One, they radius the front wall, as you'll see. You do get dual lights on either side of your storage compartment. There's a little black switch on that far light beside that will activate that, that LED lighting on the front cap. But this is absolutely huge. Like you can pack a ton of gear in here. But one thing I wanna point out to what they've done with this particular product that's kinda of cool is it's finished, right? Like you don't see any wood sticks in the pass-through storage compartment. Um, you don't see any aluminum tubing. In fact, the deck right here that your bed sits on, because your master bed, your, your main bed is, sits right on top of this. This panel here is actually laminated, insulated, and aluminum framed, just like your main sidewall is. Okay, and we'll talk about the sidewall construction on this trailer here shortly. But what this does is most storage compartments in the travel trailers in the industry do not get heated. Okay, they don't actually force heat down into this cavity. Okay, so if you're gonna plan on doing maybe some colder weather style camping or what have you, or you know you prefer to have a warmer bedroom, your bed is literally sitting on an insulated two inch thick panel, which is really, really nice. You're not gonna get that, that, cold, that cold transitioning right up underneath your bed, okay? Um, and then again, they just, they just finish it off really, really nice in here. So, and this is the case for all of the Mallards, 67.5 cubic feet of pass-through storage, even how they, Put the anchors and the hangers there for your crank handles and such your uh, baggage compartment thicker thicker door it's a one inch thick door metal latch it's not the little twist locks it's not a thin you know really flimsy style panel okay um, the other thing that heartland has done and i mentioned earlier that this is a more of a ruggedly built trailer and why i say that is this has a two inch thick sidewall okay most of your laminated you know, designed to be lighter weight trailers in the industry are using a one inch thick, we've th seen as thin as one inch thick, one and a half inch thick, okay? These guys are using a two inch thick sidewall. This is the same sidewall thickness that you would get in a $70,000 reflection, okay? So very, very ruggedly built, all aluminum framed, fully bead welded within that sidewall. So, you know, if you're going down the bumpy road, the bumpy path, just having that thicker sidewall is nice, not to mention you get the boost in the R value. So two inch thick sidewalls in the industry, folks, give you an R9, okay? Inch and a half, R7, you go up to a two and a quarter inch, like what we'd have on a solitude, you get an R11, and that's pretty standard through the industry, okay? Um, the other thing that Grand Design, do, or sorry, not Grand Design, but um, the Heartland product, um, is fully walkable roofs. Now you notice there's no ladder on the back of this trailer. Um, that's how they build it. Uh, they're go really going after a price point, which this trailer is at a fantastic price point, by the way. Uh, check our website, but uh, no ladders on the back, but they still put uh, that full walkable roof on it. So if you need to do some roof sealant touch-ups, um, you need to ch change a roof vent, that sort of thing, you can pull the ladder out of your garage, pull it over, set it beside the trailer and jump up on the roof and uh, do what you need to do there. So, 
um, outside speakers on this. Again, I really like the type of speaker they're using. They're not countersinking that speaker in the sidewall with a great big hole saw, um, which can make it noisier inside the trailer if you've got that music playing. They use a little hole for a wire, that's it, and then mount that speaker on. So it's gonna be a little quieter on the inside of your trailer as well. So. Um, some specs for you here folks, hitch weight on this trailer, 674 pounds dry. Um, this trailer measures in at 31 feet long. So just over 30 feet, uh, depending on how big your driveway is, that sort of thing. Uh, pretty common in length for, uh, for this size of trailer. 30,000 BTU furnace. Your fresh water capacity is 45 gallons. So respectable, it's definitely not the biggest out there, but definitely a respectable size. Uh, you're gray, you've got dual gray tanks on this floor plan, which is really, really nice um, at 80 gallons combined, which is perfect. And then you've got your 40 gallon black tank. So lots of capacities. Again, I just absolutely love the look of this trailer. Um, yeah, come on down, love to be able to show it to you here at our dealership in Leduc. If you can't make it to Leduc, we've got three other locations that you can have a look at it. You do get the uh, fold in and out stairs, so that folds right up inside the trailer, uh, you know, creating a nice clean look, super stable step when you're you know, entering and exiting the trailer. Uh, friction hinge door. What's really nice about that is if you got little people around and you open up the door and it's wind blowing, you know, that door isn't gonna totally swing open and take one of the little ones out, that sort of thing, so. Uh, coming up inside the trailer, again, like I mentioned, no heat ducts in the floor, but right at your front door, you've got this beautiful pantry storage. Great big storage. You got hooks for jackets. You know, you could put a couple of anchors on the wall and, you know, hang some brooms in here if you wanted to. Excellent, excellent storage compartment right at your front door. And they put a light in there as well. So, just give that a close. All right, rear bathroom in this model, folks. Great big shower, skylight above. They do do the Nautilus shower curtains. So, you know, what's really nice about that is the curtains in a chassis. After you've done showering, you're gonna have moisture on the backside of that shower curtain. When you retract the shower curtain, there's a squeegee built right into that, this, this roller here, and it's gonna squeegee that water off. It's gonna run back down into the shower pan and drain. But very, very large shower. If you know you're a larger person, you've got tons of space. If you're a taller person, you've got that skylight that'll take you up inside. You know, if you're six foot four, you've got tons of room in this shower, uh, which is nice. You do have the, fully, um, you know, lots of shelves. You know, you can stack your towels in here, which is nice. Um, I don't know if these come out or not. Yeah, you can take these out. So if you got something taller or bigger you wanna put in, you can definitely do that. Solid wood doors. They're not like a, a cheaper door, a MDF board uh, door with a, a paper wrap on it. This is a solid wood door with a mortise and tenon joint. Very, very strong, very rugged with the European hin hidden hinges. You know, that's an upgrade. Um, you get that with this trailer, which is nice. The other thing, notice how many lights are in this tra in this bathroom. Four great big lights. I find a lot of trailers, you know, they put in two lights or one light and they're super dark. You know, this bathroom is a very large bathroom, but you got tons of lighting, tons of vanity storage. They give you the shelf inside, like look at this. This is fantastic. Huge storage. You know, if you're planning a longer trip across Canada, you can pack a ton of gear in here. Got the uh, window for ventilation. Of course, there's a heat duct, or sorry, a AC duct coming into your uh, bathroom here. Foot flush toilet, but look at the counter space. Absolutely fantastic. Tank monitors back here as well. Gas electric, hot water heater, quick recovery. I believe this is the Atwood tank, so you're probably gonna get that 17.8 gallon quick recovery. Uh, barn style door here, sliding door to close off your bathroom. So again, things we like about this floor plan, folks, great big slide out, very large windows, fully open, pull down uh, pleated shades. Your uh, sofa does flip out into a bed, which is nice. You've got your dinette. The dinette's really neat because they do do the reversible cushions. So if you wanna spin it around and have the dark, you can stylize the inside of your trailer. Or if you got little ones and you don't want them touching the lighter fabric, uh, you can just spin that back cushion around. The table's neat. They do put two dual legs on, so you can flip, you know, take this table right outside if you're 
out dry camp in some place or you're pulled off in a road stop and you want to eat outside um, you can literally take this table outside but the nice thing is they do put wall anchors on it as well so you don't have to fold your table down like I'm shaking this this thing is solid as a rock so totally flexible eating area which is nice storage up underneath you know for extra pots and pans that sort of thing no carpet on your slide out this is a woven material you see it on a lot of um, uh, rugs and patio mats that you would put let's say on your patio at home um, that woven fabric it's not going to absorb the, the, the moisture that sort of thing easy to sweep off that sort of thing I also really like they've got indirect lighting in behind your slide casing here in the middle some rope lighting there you can see that so if you're watching a movie and you want to have a little bit of light or have a night light at night um, you've got that all right uh, I'm just gonna sit down on the couch here just give you a shot here so right across from your seating area you do have a spot for your uh, entertainment center spot for a TV you'll be able to fit a 32 inch TV up there all the wiring is there to your uh, to your stereo as well you know you could mount in here a smart TV you could stream they do put the TV antenna on it so if you want to upgrade and put the gateway device on it you totally can do that um, and again it's got a fireplace so if you don't necessarily want to run your furnace which can be a little bit louder you like a cool bedroom but you want a warmer warmer living area when you get up that's a 5000 BTU heater so you do need to be plugged into shore power to a generator or, or 30 amp service or what have you um, but that'll blow heat and uh, keep your living area nice and warm for you so real cool storage idea as well this just pulls out you know a little hidden storage kind of cool put your remotes back there or keys or whatever stacks of money um, on this particular trailer it is a two-door gas absorption fridge we're seeing a lot of manufacturers switching to that 12 volt fridge and the in the mallards they are coming still with the classic um, you know always work gas absorption fridge this is a six cubic foot fridge on this particular model um, but hey for dry camping that sort of thing you got the propane and the 110 capability on this as well which is really good um, lots of storage up above your kitchen area loads of counter space which is nice you've got five drawers right here in your kitchen area to hold all your gear of course the gas oven range microwave but yeah tons of counter space which is cool you got that single basin sink we do carry in our parts department this trailer doesn't come with it but we do have those um, slotted um, sink covers so if you want to get one of those they fit we've already tested it out uh, we've got them stocked in our parts department you could add that very easily so of course coming to the front bedroom you've got a king size walk around bed it is 72 inches wide and 80 inches long all right now one of the things with a king size bed yes it's wider so you don't get as much walk space around the bed that is a fact but for people that want to have a king size bed it comes with it the cool part is that if you don't want the king we can easily change it for you underneath the, uh, the, the bed platform itself is set up to hold a regular queen size bed so a regular residential queen is 60 inches wide by 80 inches long so we could very easily take this mattress out drop a queen in which will give you a little bit more walk space around the bed you'll pick up a little bit more tabletop on either side of the bed uh, but the dimensions in terms of the the length of the bed is the same so you still get this beautiful walk around space the other thing that's neat is they give you this little slot underneath your bed like you could put some nice wicker baskets down there to really stylize the inside of your trailer spot to put your you know your personal effects you know some clothing that sort of thing really make it look cool um, if you want to stick with the king size bed folks this is comes with like it's like a memory foam mattress super comfy I laid on it and unbelievably comfortable your regular king size sheets will go around it that you can get if you want to go to a queen you just get the queen size sheets it'll be a perfect fit uh, all those things so but again really nice look here really nice look shelves here got the 110 plug on either side of your bed I'm just gonna show you zoom in on either side they do give you behind that little round plug there that's your USB connection so you've got that on both sides 110 and USB so if you want to plug your cell phones in at night you can uh, the front cap again the way that that front cap is designed it's kind of got this bulbous 
like air, very aerodynamic uh, look to it or design. But what that gives you is a very, very deep storage compartment up here, deeper than most. And that goes all the way around to the other side. And then you've got some hanging storage on either side of your bed here. So lots of space to hold all your, all your stuff. If you want to mount a TV in your bedroom, you can definitely do that. There's a TV backer location right here with the 110 plug and coax cable connection. So uh, the other thing that I like on the Mallards, folks, is, again, the bathroom had four massive lights in it. Your living area has got tons of lights in it as well. The cool part is each switch, each light has a switch on it. So you can actually isolate the light. So when you walk into the trailer, if you only want one light on or a couple lights, you can go along and individually turn off the lights that you don't want to use, creating more of that, you know, ambient lighting uh, scenario. Very important on the bunk models, which when we shoot the videos on that, I'll explain to you as well, makes it where you can really darken the back end of the trailer where the bunk beds are located for the kids. So beautiful setup that way. Oh, the vent. I really like this vent. It's not a knob that you got to turn. You just reach up, pull down, open, boom, just like that. Very slick system. Uh, very easy to use. So fully ducted AC on this trailer as well, 13,500 BTUs. It'll run off a 30 amp plug, no problem. So we are in the Mallard M260. Again, we're carrying this product at all four of our corridor locations, Calgary, Red Deer, Leduc, Edmonton. We've picked their top five best-selling floor plans, the number one floor plans chosen by RVers. And, uh, they're rolling in hot and heavy. We bought 90 of them. Got a big volume deal. Uh, we're passing that savings off to you. And uh, all we want to do is come alongside you in your RV journey and take care of you. Teach you about the lifestyle and get you out camping in a brand new Heartland Mallard. So my name's Clayton Phillips. I'm the sales manager here at Woody's RV World in Leduc. We're 15 minutes south of Edmonton. If you want to zip down the highway, have a look. We've got the M260. We've got the M251BH, which is a shorter bunk model, under 30 feet with a slide. And then in the showroom, we've got the M26, which is a larger slide, similar to this trailer, but double over double bunks in the back, packed full of features and value uh, for your RVing needs. Again, give us a shout, 780-986-1234. Hope to see you soon. Be safe out there. Enjoy the summer. And uh, bye for now.